Hey, what's up guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're back in again with another Royal Hogs Poison and Fireball Bait deck. In this deck, you're gonna have the Rascals and the Bats for Zap and Log Bait, and you're gonna have the Magic Archer and the Royal Hogs for Fireball and Poison Bait. You're gonna have Tombstone for kiting and pulling all of the Golems and the Giants to the middle of the map. And this deck just works really well against every single beatdown deck. So many players are running beatdown because Princess Root most recently got a buff, and also it does really well against all of the bait decks because you have log in a quick cycle. Check this deck out for 12 win grand challenges and let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comment section. We're gonna sauce out a good luck. He's gonna drop a cannon cart. We're gonna go drop a royal ghost. I'm gonna go for bats. I'm gonna go in for rascals off to the side to make sure cannon cart gets obliterated. And we see cannon cart. We don't really see much of a response. He's gonna go for NATO. He's gonna activate king tower. So he's definitely running golem with cannon cart. Okay. He's already exhausted his NATO. We've got a lot of damage on the left-hand side, and he's going to have Log as well. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is it's going to be a Golem deck with Log, and we're running Bait Defense. This is going to be a little bit difficult. I have to split my Royal Hogs because guess what? I can't incur too much damage from the Baby Dragon. Don't want to eat that on my tower. I know that he's not going to have like a great answer, so he's going to have to eat up a whole bunch of damage from the right-hand side. I'm okay with that. I'm going to go cycle my Tombstone as my starting play opposite lane so that I can go stagger my units. Notice where I cycle my Magic Archer when I do cycle it. But for right now, I'm going to go for a Royal Ghost to apply some counter aggression, so then he's not going to have all of his Elixir to stockpile behind the left-hand lane. He might just eat that. If he does, he's crazy. But we'll see. So I'm going to end up going for a Log here, or a Poison, and then I'm going to go for Bats. Bats should end up killing his Night Witch pretty early, and then I go for another Tombstone. I cycle Tombstone really early, so I can back to the second one. And then, as a result, look at the Mega Minion, the Golem, it doesn't get any damage on my tower. Then it went straight towards my tower, we would've been screwed. Alternatively, I could've logged instead of dropping the Bats, it's just your own predilection. I'd rather drop the Bats, because if he bridge spammed a little bit, then his units would've went right into the Bats instead of cycling a log, which was transient, right? So, it was just my predilection, uh, either or works. He's gonna go for a log on top of the Rascals, the Thick Boy's gonna tank for the uh, Baby Dragon, he'll drop 6 Elixir, I'll drop 5, I'm okay with this. I can also apply some more aggression if I really, really want to, but yeah, so there's the log. I'm going to go in for real hogs. I have to go for another sequence of bats and a high tombstone because I don't want to give him poison value. I think this is okay. I'm going to go cycle magic archer early, early on because I want to make sure that we get as much damage as possible on those golemites so then they die and then the mega minion doesn't get 10 million damage on my tower. The log will not kill, so I end up having to go and drop rascals. I will have to drop a poison. I got to kill the night witch inside of it. As long as the Night Witch dies inside of it, we're vibing. Doesn't end up dying inside of it, but it's still okay. Magic Archer gets on top of the tower. Looks like he's got all the damage on that side, so I want to go opposite. He's going to drop a Golem here, probably. Yeah, so. That was expected. He drops the Golem exactly where I thought. We reign supreme with the Royal Hogs. And we're just going to take tower, drop our Tombstone in the optimal placement. I'm going to go in for a Log, go in for Rascals. He's going to go in for a Log, but you have to like Log and go in for a NATO if you want to hit everything, honestly. I'm gonna go for bats right on top, going for another tombstone. Always cycle your tombstone early first so you can get back to a second one, and as a result, you'll just win the game. Cycle two tombstones against golem pushes, and you'll pretty much never lose. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. All right, we're gonna start off the game with the tombstone, and we're playing against Ripper from Evolution Team, so this guy's gonna be a certified savage. End up going in for real hogs. Actually, no, I'm gonna go in for Magic Archer in the same lane as the, the uh, Mega Minion. It's gonna kill the Mega Minion, and we'll get some value. Translating defense and offense. So we see Fireball, we see Mega Minion. This is definitely gonna be Lava Loon. I wanna go for Rascals here. He's gonna have Zap, he's not gonna have Log. So the Mega Minion ends up dying. And then I'm able to go in for some offensive presence here. So yeah, exactly what I thought. You can actually just straight up Log that. And we're gonna have to wait and see what he wants to do. He's gonna Zap, yep. So now I just go for Royal Hogs. And I don't think he's gonna have much of any answer. So he's gonna drop Guards and he's gonna drop Tombstone. That's literally six Elixir for five. That is so good for us. I love it. I'm going to save my bats. As I said before, this is probably going to be Lava Loon, so I want to actually have my air answers, right? Rogue Ghost ends up obliterating those really cleanly, and then it also demands a response. He doesn't have guards, and he doesn't actually have Tombstone in Cycle, so I don't know what he's going to do here. Mega Minion is going to be dropped. I'm just going to go Magic Archer off his lane. He could Fireball that, but then we end up having Rascals, and then we have bats, so this is really good for us. He's definitely going to Fireball that. Go for Rascals here. Got to end up killing this Mega Minion. Then I'm going to go for Bats. Mega Minion will end up dying. He's not going to have enough Elixir for a Zap immediately. Looks like I'm probably going to have to poison that just to make sure that we retain everything. Did not want that Mega Minion to get on top of the Magic Archer. It really wasn't about it. I'm going to go for Rogue Ghost in front. I hope he drops something early so that the Magic Archer stays alive. I hope the Rogue Ghost gets targeted, and he does. 
Holy crap, that was beautiful for us. That is so nice. Look at all the damage that we get from that Magic Archer now. That's three hits. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. I love it. So if he had waited a split second, if he had timed it perfectly, that would have been horrible. But fortunately, he didn't do that. So I'm going to go in for another set of Royal Hogs. I'm going to go log that as soon as the Royal Hogs get a couple hits. It's going to be worth. I can also go for Magic Archer for more chip damage. I can also go for Bats here. Maybe we can bait out a Fireball or something. Bait out a Zap. Okay. I can cycle back to another one, so I'm okay with that. Go for another set of Rascals. I'm going to go in for Royal Ghost Opposite. It's going to end up dying, right? And just go here. Looks like he's going to do some type of tower trade, so I'm okay with this. Definitely okay with the tower trade. That's what I had to do. I realized, hey, I'm not going to be able to defend. Let's tower trade, and let's make something happen after. So I already did so much damage on the right-hand side. I realized that, and I realized I can get away with the tower trade. So that was definitely the preferred scenario. I'm going to go for Rascals here. I'm going to go in for another sequence of Royal Hogs. He just dropped all of his Elixir on the right-hand side. I was just like, okay, if you keep dropping Elixir there, then you're not going to be able to defend. And as a result... I was right, guys. He's not able to defend. Can simply go in for another set of Royal Ghost in the middle because, you know, he has Tombstone in his guards. When he doesn't have the other one in cycle, then he loses the game to the Royal Hogs. So I really like this deck because of that. He only has two ground defenses, and obviously when he doesn't have them in cycle, he's going to be in a pain. You can fireball these, but do you really want to? If you do that, then you can't mount an offense, and I just poison you out because poison does 216. Your tower is at a flimsy 125. So GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. The very good Lava Loon player. But we still ended up finessing him. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. I'm going to go Magic Archer in the back. I don't want to go give him Poison or Fireball Tower damage on the tower that's already weak. Okay, it's going to be bait. I can just sauce out a log here, and we're vibing. See if he has Fireball or if he has Poison or Rocket. We're going to have to wait and see exactly. So Ice Spirit, it's going to be Rocket most likely. We need a lot of damage there. Let's go. Holy crap, the Royal Hogs are just brutalizing this man. He is not ready. His body was not prepared. For such ferocity on top of his tower. Wow. TY is not saying thank you to me. I'm gonna end up going in for Rascals, run on top of the miner, catch it, see what's good. I'm gonna go for a Royal Ghost right on top of the Princess, make sure she doesn't even get a single hit on our tower. We're about it. Get out of here, sir. I'm gonna bats right on top of the Prince. Make sure the Prince doesn't get a charge because we're really not about that either. Okay. Tombstone, please don't die. Let the skeleton die instead. Uh, Tombstone's still gonna die because Prince is totally fair and balanced. And uh, we're going to see what he wants to do here. We still haven't seen, like, anything too scary. I guess I can sauce out a log if you're going to give me that amount of value. That's six elixir. I'm okay sustaining a little bit of damage. I can just drop rascals, and I think I'll be fine, actually. Yeah, so overall, I just dropped seven elixir. He ended up giving me six worth of value with the log, and then he also ends up dropping the barrel. So that's nine worth of elixir, and I end up... Coming away with a plus two trade and tower damage from the log and then also rascals that he has to respond to right so Just looking at that sequence of events. Sure. You baited out my log Congratulations, but it wasn't actually a great play. That's one of the things that I see with log bait so often Don't be afraid to log Like when they give you a whole bunch of value if you can defend with other units Like I love defending with hunters on top of barrels you drop it in the back it denies barrels instantaneously no damage at all there's so many things that you can actually do, so. I just really heavily suggest you guys being a little bit more innovative with your Goblin Barrel defenses if you see the value. So this guy's going to end up going for a Prince. He's going to go in for a Barrel. I'm just going to log it this time. No point in doing anything else. I'm going to go in for Royal Hogs opposite. He's going to go in for a Goblin Gang. I'm going to go for Magic Archer. He goes in for Inferno Tower. So I didn't actually think he would have room for Inferno Tower, but despite that, we're just going to Poison. He drops Goblin Gang now. He's going to give me some chip damage. I think the Magic Archer gets one hit. Ah, uh, barely not. Magic Archer, your targeting was really horrible, man. He needs to be potty trained or something. I'm going to end up going for a uh, Rascals. I'm going to end up going in for a Log right on top of the, go <laughs> the Goblin Gang. And I can end up going for a Magic Archer. This time, I think that we're going to get the damage. I don't even care if it dies. Yep, so that's good. All I need to do is go for two more poisons and we walk away with the W. There's no point in going in for like a log here because that's how you lose the game. Actually, what? Okay, all right, never mind. You just want to lose left hand tower. I'm okay with that. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. I really thought I was going to have to double poison and cycle a log on the Goblin Barrel, but it just ended a little bit quicker. GG, well played, and thank you, TY. All right, guys, we got a game against TMD. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Good luck, sir. Cycle bats in the back is my starting maneuver. And he's going to go for Skelly, so he's definitely running a cycle deck. Might be the P.E.K.K.A. Royal Hogs Magic Archer deck. Might be 2.6 Hog. I'll have to wait and see. So he's running a Hunter, so it's going to be the Three Musketeers. 
Hunter, Rohog, Cycle deck most likely. Could also be with Hog, but probably going to be Rohog because they're better. So Rohog's going to come through. He's going to go drop Fireball, so he's not going to have too much here. He's going to log these Rascals. So that's going to be a little bit annoying for me. I'm going to go Cycle Tombstone here, so he's not going to get too much log value. Notice how they're not all congregated together. He's not going to hit all the Rascals. There's one alive. So that's pretty good for us. I definitely have to go for bats because that one is not dying. I'm going to go for Royal Ghost right in front. Hopefully that's going to be able to take some targeting. I'll have to wait and see what he wants to do here. I really want that Royal Ghost to get targeted before one of the bats. And it looks like that's exactly what happened. That bat is alive and good and well on top of that tower. Holy crap, guys. Unfortunately, I have to go in for Magic Archer here. I did not want to. Just seems like a really unfortunate sequence of events that have transpired here. I'm going to go for my Thick Boy, and we're going to end up slaughtering him. So he's going to log this, but, you know, we're just going to have to lick our wounds and realize, hey, we're not in a great situation. He's going to log it. He's actually going to go for Hunter. Did he not have Log and Cycle? Yo, I guess he didn't have Log and Cycle. That is so much Elixir he just spent. Holy crap. That is five Elixir, and then he also took damage. Yeah, he didn't have Log and Cycle, guys. He dropped it on the Tombstone, right? Okay, this is really good for us. His Hunter is not on Cycle. He's going to have to Fireball the Royal Hogs. What is he going to do? Fireball him? Are you going to take a ton of damage? Oh my god. This is really good. I'm about it, boys. I'm about it. I'm not poisoning those, by the way. I can come across with a much more efficient defense. Um, I want to go in for Royal Ghost on those two. And then I want to go in for Rascals here. Because I want the uh, Royal Ghost to go on top of that. Yeah, that was so much more of an efficient defense. It's going to log it now, yeah? Okay. So now you have Hunter. Hmm... I'm going to go here. You have Skeletons. Skellies. Yep. Skellies get pre-logged, get wrecked. I'm going to go in for Tombstone. I'm going to go in for Poison. I'm going to go in for Bats right on top. Royal Ghost as well. So it looks like we're in a decent situation. Obviously, he's going to do a lot of damage to my tower, and we did a lot of, to his. I'm going to go for Royal Hog, split them, so then I get a lot of damage on the left-hand side and right. I can go for Magic Archer if I need to, but we're going to take Tower for sure. That's a fact. Yep, so that's log range. All I have to do is defend the virginity, guys. So what is he going to do? He's going to fireball and then also log it, right? He has to. I'm just going to lose that tower. I'm not even going to defend it. Knew he's going to do that. Now my rascals and bats have free reign on his tower. He can also go for magic archer here and then royal hogs because he doesn't have fireball and cycle. And he's going to have to drop three muskies. But when he does that, he just straight up loses because I poison. I get too much chip damage on him, right? So we're going to go for a poison. He has to fireball it, but that's like not a good play. That is not a good situation for him to be in. I'm going to go for Royal Ghost because he's just really not having anything. You might go for Skeleton Surround. I'm going to go and oh, he drops him early. I really thought he would like not do that. but Okay. Can we get Magic Archer on the tower? Looks like it. Okay, that's beautiful. And all I got to do is go for a Poison Log and win the game. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the Poison first. I'm going to cycle my Royal Ghost. Poison Log does 300 damage accumulatively. You always want to go for your Poison first because... It does damage over time, whereas the log is a one-hit wonder. Doesn't really matter. GG, well played. Peace out, Girl Scout. That combination only it takes eight seconds, and I was very confident that I would be able to defend for the duration of eight seconds. So we played against a TMD Chinese player, and I had no idea who he was, but we ended up winning. GG, and well played, sir. All right, I want to go for Rascals in the back as our starting play. This guy's clan name is Peaky Blinders. I really want to check out that Netflix original. Haven't checked it out, though. You guys should let me know if that's good or not. I've been hearing like that it's really solid. I'm going to go for Royal Hogs opposite lane. Obviously, this guy's going to go in for a Baby Dragon, so it's going to be Golem. Golem with Valkyrie, okay. Maybe going to be Splash Shard then. All right. If it's Splash Shard, it'll be a little bit more difficult, but he is probably going to be traumatized by the fact that we just did so much damage, despite him having Valkyrie. I'm going to go for Bats right on top. Surround it. Make sure he doesn't get too much. I'm going to go for Royal Ghost. He's going to have a Wizard as well. Okay, I don't know what this is. This is looking like Golem. This is definitely looking like Golem then. Mega Knight, what are those, brother? What are those? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go Tombstone. We're gonna have to do some fancy tactics. We go for Rascals off to the side. I did split them, but yeah, Mega Knight just bounced back with a vengeance. He's like, Jake, you thought you could defend me? Yikes. That's never happening, man. Tombstone's gonna put in mad work. The skeleton should put and prevail against the Mega Knight, coupled with the bats. Oh, it still gets a hit. Yikes. I'm gonna go for Royal Hogs. Hopefully, we can do a critical amount of damage to the right hand side because he did spend a lot of elixir. What is this man running? He's got Mega Knight and Inferno Tower and Valkyrie. He's got a lot of answers to Royal Hogs. What are those, man? Holy crap, he hates Hog Riders and Royal Hogs. He has had enough, guys. He's like, 
You know, real hogs have been around for quite a while. They've been around for a fat minute. I'm just, I'm not liking them. He's just, he pours them with every fiber of his body, guys. He's like, I can't deal with it anymore. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna drop Rascals in the back. Just split them. He's gonna do a drop. His parade of splash damage. So I could poison that. I could also try to get away with a Royal Ghost. Yeah, Mega Knight right on top. This guy is so frisky, man. I'm gonna poison that. He also rages, so this guy is a savage. Not that you guys need to be told that. You guys already knew. I'm gonna go drop another tombstone. We should be able to get away with a clean defense here. He ends up dropping the Inferno Tower. His Mega Knight should be a couple cards out of cycle. So I'm gonna go in crazily in the left hand lane. I think his Mega Knight is like one or two cards out of cycle. He's probably back to it now. We're gonna have to wait and see. Nope, Valkyrie, okay, this is good. That's a ton of damage. I'm about it, never doubt it. I'm gonna go in for another Magic Archer. We're gonna go slaughter that baby dragon. And unfortunately, we're not able to have the second tower work on it, but you know, it's still flying. We're gonna be going in for a, uh, another Royal Ghost, see if we can get some damage. He's gonna Mega Knight right on top, most likely, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go in for uh, Rascals, Bats. Can log that back, but it doesn't really matter too much. I'm just going for Magic Archer, utilize the superior range. Unfortunately, we keep losing that. But the Baby Dragon belching away on the tower, that's not too much damage. It's like 500, 600 max. I can just go for Poison around right top of the tower, finish it off with the Royal Hogs, and sauce in the log. And despite him having the Valkyrie, despite him having the Mega Knight, and just about everything you possibly ask for, Wizard, I don't understand how he lost, but he did. All right, guys, we had a game against Josh. We're saucing out of good luck here. I'm gonna go for a Royal Ghost at the river, see what's good. He's giving me the good luck. Okay, man. What do you got in store for us? All right, you're going to go for Prince. I'm going to go for a Tombstone. So after we see Prince, it's most likely going to be a Giant Miner Hunter deck. That's the most common deck with Prince right now. Could also be Golem, but we're going to have to wait and see. So Prince is going to be dying here to our Tombstone, thankfully for us. I'm going to go for Royal Hogs because I don't want the Prince to bounce back. Yep. He's going to go in for Double Prince, actually. That was something I really was not anticipating at all. So our tombstone is pretty low. I don't want to give him too much spell value. I want to go for Rascals here. Maybe going for Split Bats. Wow. You have Bats with that. What, is, what are you running? This is such a weird deck. Doesn't really matter. We end up cleaning the house. I'm going to go for Royal Ghost right in front. Hopefully the Royal Ghost can get on top of the tower. He's probably drop Prince or something. All right. He's running the old school Double Prince Bait deck. I hate this deck. Super annoying to play against. I'm going to end up going in for another Tombstone. He's going to end up going in for a uh, Prince. I hope that the Prince ends up getting... Okay. I had to cycle, so I'm thankful that I ended up getting back to Rascals. Baiting out the log at me was really annoying. Because now he's able to rush us with the Goblin Gang Gang. Do I have... Ah, he's got Fireball. That would be so stupid. So I'm going to split them because he has Fireball. I don't want to give him too much value on all four. Might have Poison, actually. Regardless, guys, look at the Dark Prince just dying now. He would have dropped the Dark Prince right on top of the Girl Rascals, and they would have ended up dying, but now the Dark Prince dies, so I'm okay with that. It doesn't get a tower hit. No tower touch for you, Josh. All right, I can go for Royal Ghost to the river, but he has dropped Prince, so I don't really want to do that. Kind of just want to go cycle Royal Ghost in the back. I have to eat that. I'm not going to drop too much elixir. I need to retain my bats for defense. So, Prince it is. I don't think I'll get a skeleton in front of that. I would love to have a skeleton in front. Please give me a skeleton in front. It's not going to happen though. Oh, it did. Beautiful. Magic Archer. I don't think he has Fireball. I don't think he does. We're going to risk it right here. He doesn't have Fireball. He's poison. I'm going to go for a log. That's so much damage. I think we end up taking the game because he doesn't end up having Fireball. So I can go here, I can go for bats, I can go for a tombstone to make sure that the Royal Ghost doesn't end up getting obliterated. I'm going to go for Rascals off to the side. And it looks like we'll probably be able to defend this if I go for a Magic Archer. That one bat is going to put in so much work, I have to go in for a log on top of the Prince, otherwise it would charge on top of us and I'm not about it. Okay, so Dark Prince is still alive. Obviously he has poison, as we saw. I'm able to go in for Royal Hogs again. I can go for a poison. We just need a couple hits, guys. Give me a little bit of touches. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Going for a log and we secure the W. GG, well played. And peace out, Josh. Pleasure playing against you, man. Double Prince is a little bit scary, but if you maneuver correctly and, and separate your units, you're just going to run away with the victory. GG, well played. Pleasure playing against you, Josh.